Flight MH17 disappeared from the radar at 20 minutes and 3 seconds past 1 UTC. Very soon, the first reports were made of wreckage falling down in the eastern part of Ukraine. In an area of about 50 square kilometers, six sites were identified where parts of the aeroplane came down. Wreckage of the cockpit in the forward section of the aeroplane crashed at the sites near Rozipna and Petropavlivka. The aft and tail sections ended up about 8 kilometers eastwards, near the village of Grabov. The middle section of the aircraft was destroyed by an intense fire at the main crash site. None of the 298 occupants survived the crash. In the autumn of 2014, the first recovery mission for the wreckage took place. From October onwards, preparations were made to recover those parts of the wreckage that were most important and to transport them to the Netherlands for further investigation. The first convoy of wreckage arrived in the Netherlands at the Hills Orion Air Force Base on the 9th of December 2014. Over the following months, more convoys of wreckage were transported to Hills Orion. Upon arrival, all wreckage was sorted, tagged, photographed in front of a green screen and forensically examined. In a hangar, pieces of the aeroplane were laid out for investigation. All wreckage pieces were examined for failure mechanisms, damage patterns and traces of external objects that could have hit the aeroplane. The investigation of the wreckage led to further evidence of a surface-to-air missile being the cause of the crash of Flight MH17. A number of other scenarios, such as internal explosions, gunfire or air-to-air -air missiles, were excluded. Based on the photographs of the wreckage, a two-dimensional reconstruction was made to identify the position of wreckage on the aeroplane's grid. The major fractures were determined on the basis of the wreckage, the photo reconstruction, as well as the location where each part was found. At Hilsa Ryan Air Force Base, the Dutch Safety Board made a three-dimensional reconstruction of the forward section of the aeroplane. First, a frame matching the model of a Boeing 777-200 was built. Over a period of three months, the cockpit and the forward part of the business class were reconstructed. The parts were moved to their exact position and fixed in place. This reconstruction was made to validate and visualize the results of the investigation. It shows the overall picture and places various parts and damages in their context. Looking at the reconstruction, the impact pattern made by the high-energy objects is clearly visible. The reconstruction also demonstrates the effects of the impact and shows the marks where the cockpit was torn from the rest of the fuselage. The investigation of the wreckage has demonstrated that the aircraft was perforated at high speed by fragments coming from a specific location to the left and above the cockpit. There were indications of this early in the investigation, but the wreckage turned out to be important for verifying and further substantiating those indications.